continuing with the reviews going on my page, <clears throat> uh, when you get into ultrasound, there are some names out there that just uh, stand out. And one of them is Sidney Edelman. Uh, he teaches ultrasound physics. Anytime you get into ultrasound, whether it be general ultrasound or echo or vascular, um, physics is probably the one of the most um, complex uh, ideas and, and people have a hard time learning from it. <clears throat> and as you know with, uh, with ARDMS, they got a separate physics test. And if you go through CCI, it's combined with, uh, with your main test and whatnot. But anyways, <clears throat> so what happens is that a lot of people want to go through uh, just a review course. And uh, ESP, which stands for Education for the Sonographic Profession, um, they hold seminars every month at different locations. And tons of people go there because it's a registry review. Uh, the two times that I've gone, most of the people that I've seen go, go to those seminars are people that need to get registered or they lose their job. You know, they might have been grandfathered in or, or whatnot, so. <clears throat> the other half of the people are um, people that just want to get the CMEs, which you get a certificate saying, hey, you know what? You uh, came on this date, you get this many CMEs, 12 CMEs. And, you know, you need your CMEs, which is continuing medical education, uh, to keep your registry. And so a lot of people go that go there just for that. Um, and then there's, short, there's a short percentage of people that show up there uh, to, to learn, I guess you can say. Um, halfway through my adult echo course... Um, Last summer, before my teacher taught ultrasound physics to us, um, I went ahead and just did the ESP physics course and adult echo course. And uh, how it's set up is that it's three days, and in the morning from 8 to noon, you do your ultrasound physics. And then from 1 to 5, um, you'll do your specialty which I took Adult Echo last weekend uh, in Orlando. I took uh, Vascular. Um, they cover all aspects of ultrasound. But anyways, <clears throat> to get back down to it, I took it last summer just for a heads up. And what I like about these registry reviews, is it's, it's straight to the point. And Sidney Edelman will tell you this when he's, he's giving a lecture, is that everything here is straight to the point. Um, this is all you need. This workbook is all you need to pass the physics registry for the ARDMS. And the reason why that's such a big deal is because you can never get your registry if you don't pass physics. Um, he does have this textbook as well for understanding ultrasound physics, but he'll tell you at the seminar, this is for learning ultrasound physics compared to this is giving you a base for passing the registry. Anyways, he was, the way he taught was really, really good. Um, I was actually surprised, and I, I want to say we had like 500 plus people in that auditorium. Um, I took it in Las Vegas last year, 2011, and then. Uh, I went into the adult echo portion of it, and just like they say, this, these workbooks go down the outline of what, the, what these registries will cover. And as you know, with echo, you have two registries to go from. You got ARDMS, and you have CCI, which is Cardiovascular Credentialing International. And they're slightly different tests. Um, ARDMS is strictly ultrasound and CCI is partial ultrasound but anything to do with cardiovascular so anyways David uh, Adams from the Duke University uh, teaches this course 
and he'll have little hints, um, black and white pictures, um, and whatnot. Uh, he'll show video clips, talk about um, the different types of uh, different types of pathology going on in M modes. He was a big M mode person, and you know M mode is old school, but it's still uh, used today. So um, it's always good. Of course, the Doppler and coronary anatomy and <clears throat> wall motions. But from my uh, experience on the CCI test, this is pretty much um, all I needed. Even though I already knew most of the stuff because I was in a two year echo course and I pushed myself to understand everything. Um, at the at the back of the this book, um, practice quizzes. You know, uh, he does he does have some great images, and of course additional tips. You know, um, and this one is more for the CCI where he'll go over more of the stuff that CCI covers on their tests compared to the ARDMS embryology fetal circulation, pharmacology, auscultation, um, EKG is part of the CCI course, uh, one of those things, but, <clears throat> and so I took that last year in 2011, um, I was also able to branch out into vascular ultrasound uh, during my time as a student in ECHO. I had to put more time in, I had to put more money, which I'll do another video in, but <clears throat> I took uh, ESP's vascular course with uh, Mickey McFarlane, and she's written a book on vascular ultrasound as well, so they know their stuff. But anyways, um, she gave a great course, she answered a lot of questions that people had, she explained things really well and she had some great images went through everything and even stuff that I asked her about that weren't on the test she actually uh, talked to me about it and told me about it and informed me and I mean all the good stuff uh, compared to like shutting me down say hey you know that's not part of the test don't worry about it you know, I told her I was I'm trying to be an RVT and I want to be a proficient RVT, which is a registered vascular technologist. And she liked that, and anything I threw away, she answered. Anyways, um, yeah, this was down in Orlando, and after you're done, you get that, you know, uh, certificate. Like I said, I did this vascular by itself uh, because I took the physics last time. And they're not the 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 price of the class are not too too uh, too expensive. I mean, for a dual, I think it's around four something, four fifty to five hundred um, by itself. It's like two two seventy five or something like that. But um, anyone will tell you uh, ESP courses do help a lot because you get the kind of the idea of what the outline of the tests are really looking for <clears throat> there are other companies out there that um, do registry reviews and hopefully one of these days I will take them and and just kind of uh, give my view on them but anyone will tell you ESP is um, the ones that a lot of people use and so anyways um, hope that helps out I know a lot of people have asked me about ESP seminars and is it worth it and for me, I I went there just for the experience, just to go through that type of course. And it tested me as far as like, okay, I need to do this and that. I need to um, review this. and But the physics definitely helped. Anyways, uh, hope that helps out for anyone or any info. Uh, just hit me up.